Well, hello there and welcome to Travels with Jordy. If this is your first visit, my name is Peter Knowles and I live on a classic wooden motor cruiser with the loving memory of my pup, Jordy, on a wooden motor cruiser very much like this one, but not this one. Uh, if that's the sort of thing you might find interesting, please consider sticking around and subscribing. I'd love to have you. Even though, as you can see, I am in Winter Cove on Saturna Island at the bottom of the Southern Gulf Islands, we're going to have to jump back in time and see if we can get a little more done on the upper helm aboard Jordy. And for full transparency, I don't get it finished, but we do move it along enough that I'm feeling pretty good about it. But next episode, we'll get to some proper cruising. Wow, that. One advantage of the 4x8 workbenches, it is pretty easy to handle a 4x8 piece of door skin. And thanks Scott for uh, le uh, letting me have it and helping me bring it out. So, this is going to be the template for the sides of the uh, upper helm. And uh, the main thing I need to establish is the curve of the upper edge. Now, you saw I took off pieces of the old upper helm and I could have used them as a template, but they're so ratty and I'm changing the design slightly, so this is a better solution.
right, so my templating experiment went really, really well. I have to scribe, um, well, I scribed, now I have to cut this on a slightly different angle where it meets the deck. I sort of guessed what that would be. And likewise, up here, you can see there's a slightly different angle. I've got to scribe in here and that'll work out just perfectly. And in terms of the windshield alignment itself, um, this cut that I put on here, which was roughly, <laughs> not quite parallel actually to my existing line, uh, but it was very, very, very close. And now all I really need to get is very close because as I might have mentioned before, <clears throat> when I build the new side panels, this piece of mahogany uh, will have the window cut out of it. But I won't cut out the window until after I have test fit and everything fits perfectly and the leading edge is perfectly aligned. And then I'll simply cut out the window parallel to the front leading edge. Now I'm going to trace the original window on the back side of my template here just to get an idea of how it fits, if it fits at all. I'm not sure I'm actually going to use this glass uh, because I need a new piece to match it anyway and this one is actually pretty scratched up. So it may be that I just get two new pieces of glass and they can be any shape I want. But anyway, I'm just going to clean these up a bit so that I can uh, try and mark it out on my template. Well, it's certain that the top of the glass isn't an equal radius um, because it, there's no point at which it is a consistent offset from the radius that I know is true here. Um, I actually suspected that because I don't think this glass was cut all that well. Um, the neat thing about it is that uh, I do want to cut new glass anyway. So what I'll be able to do is just cut an absolutely perfect um, uh, mark here on my template. I'm also going to put an arc in the bottom of the glass. If I just move you back a little bit, uh, the bottom of the glass is also going to have a bit of an arc in it uh, to more echo the shape of the curved bit of the deck extension that's coming back here. So it's going to be an all new piece of glass ever so slightly anyway. And uh, yeah, it's just money. Okay, we're done with you. What on earth am I going to do with you? Oosh. All right then, well, I'm going to transfer this template which is now pretty darn accurate to the um, bench and um, I drew uh, this outside arc with these uh, indexing marks uh, at the start so that I could easily line this all back up again all right so now I have the template on the bench once I have that one template, I can play with that, but I'll also make a working version of the template, which I believe will be more like this, nice and close to where I'm working. So here are the pieces that make up the side panel. <laughs> like this. And then this piece is the leading edge. Cool. And I'll also need a little piece up here because of the way the glass is gonna come around in this corner. We need a little piece in here. I actually just had a terror <laughs> because I lined up these wood, pieces of wood to, you know, to overlay the outline. And at the front, I didn't have nearly enough wood left, but I've forgotten one major thing. The first two inches of this is actually, or maybe inch and a half, I haven't decided yet, is actually uh, the lamination uh, all the way to the bottom. So actually I can come in either an inch and a half or two inches and um, I only have to start all this stuff about here. Whew. Okay, now to cut it off, yay. Okay. So now I can redraw the arc at the top.
Rain, rain, and more rain. It really doesn't look like I'm going to get uh, this upper helm finished this week, which is a drag, but um, we'll do what we can. A little there, just swung back into Victoria to pick up Lady Zephyrus and uh, MV Zephyrus to go for a cruise and sung by the marina and oh my gosh, it's practically empty, uh, which is pretty strange for uh, late June. I wonder if that's some indication of, I don't know, the price of fuel, who knows. Anyway, we're off uh, tomorrow for our summer cruise. We really look forward to it. Cheers. And good morning. Well, I'm off on a bit of an adventure this morning. Yes, indeed, I'm off to America. Even if it's only gonna be a very short trip, I do love ferries and I particularly love the coho. <laughs> Here are the Victoria Harbor ferries doing their little dance. Anyway, so it's a one hour trip over to uh, Port Angeles in Washington State uh, to pick something up, something really cool. Wanna see some beautiful bronze? I'm back aboard and this right here is a beautiful bronze McMurray uh, anchor windlass that will be going on poem. It's exactly the same as the one that's already on MV Zephyrus. Uh, it's been painted though so I just have to strip the paint, clean it up. Obviously I'll uh, uh, clean up all the gears, check sure the seals are good, have a look at the motor but I am super super excited about that. And the fellow I bought it off on Craigslist had a friend here in Port Angeles that was willing to bring it right down to the uh, dock for me. That was really awesome. Thanks so much.
travels with Geordie Beer of the Week, coming to you this week from Pirate's Cove on De Courcy Island in the Southern Gulf Islands. As you can see, the cruise has begun, and we're having to jump back in time for these last few episodes to catch up with the last of the helm rebuild. But I should say that uh, this being a bonus episode this week, um, we're pretty much caught up on just a little bit of the next episode, and then we'll be off cruising properly, even though we're cruising. I think you know where I'm going with all of it. Okay, <laughs> this is a really special treat. This is Hollows and Fentimans. Well, I've showed you the back of the label. There's the front of the label. It's an alcoholic ginger beer that we first had where? Probably about four years ago. I can't remember or exactly. Or more. At we a, went to a festival. It was a scotch tasting festival. It was like a hopscotch. It was beer it was and scotch, scotch in Vancouver. Yeah, that's right. And we had this there and had been trying to find it ever since. We couldn't believe how good it was. So it's now... So, oh, can you like, smell it? Can you smell that? No. It is fantastic. <laughs> anyway, we... I'm we, just excited. We, we recently it. just stumbled upon it in James Bay in Victoria. Mm -hmm. And uh, in a liquor store. And uh, we've been hoarding <laughs> it for this very event. Oh, I smell it now. I know. Oh, it's pretty good, eh? Oh, gingery. Absolutely fantastic. I'm okay, so, so let's just... Uh, this is a lot to... bigger than the taster we had. Exactly. I'm trying to pour it very <laughs> gingerly here. <laughs> uh, maybe that should be word of the week sometime. Cheers. Ginger. Probably should. Oh, it's a lovely light. <laughs> oh, it is so We have yummy. to get this stuff by the case. Whew, that is amazing. It's really... Really, really oh, good. If you my. like ginger and you like ginger beer, it's like a dark and stormy, but you know, all have by to itself, have the... <laughs> exactly. But I know, but also being just a little bit beery, having a little bit of that hot, I don't know, but anyway. it's very gingery. Oh, god, mm. very gingery. Let's be careful with any good ginger beverage, don't breathe in as you're drinking it because that yeah. ginger goes straight down your lungs and you start coughing. Okay, we gotta get right into stuff. We kind of wound up in this a bit too much. Mm. Last week's winner of a Travels with Geordie t-shirt is John Hunter. So John, uh, shoot me off an email at swag at travelswithgeordie.com and I'll send you off a coupon for your shirt. Um, very much like, to, oh, and cheers, John. Oh, cheers, cheers John. John. I forgot to cheers you, mate. And uh, it was just raining just half an hour ago. It was supposed to be rainy and windy tonight. That's what they said. And thunderstorms. And apparently. thunderstorms. This is gorgeous. Um, I'd uh, very much like to thank a new Patreon that came aboard last week, uh, simply J.E. Uh, thank you ever so much, J, I suppose, for coming along as a new Patreon for the show. Cheers to you. J.E. Or J.E., yeah. G. I suppose. Um, J. During the last week's episode, I... <laughs> You don't even know about this, but I pulled out this strange contraption of a tool uh, that I had found in my uh, toolbox that I used years and years ago, and I asked if anyone could remember what it was called, and a couple people could remember, and a couple people thought it was something completely savage, but anyway, <laughs> I pulled at random of the few people that could remember that it was called the flying chisel, and it was indeed a device to cut a chamfer. Um, uh, using a drill and anyway it was a bit of a hack if I could remember the episode number maybe I'll put the episode number down below that's only if I remember anyway of the few people that remembered uh, what it was called I picked at random for a winner for a travels with Jordy t-shirt how about that and uh, Alex F came up and uh, Alex a good friend of mine so I'm pretty fortunate that you came up so Alex uh, get a hold of me and I know you know how to do it and we'll make sure you get your travels with Jordy t-shirt cheers Alex congratulations yeah exactly Okay, this has gone on long enough. Oh, we need a good. word of the week. So someone can win a t-shirt. <laughs> no, we, we just can't, can't do that. <laughs> How on earth are they going to use that? Lots of ways. Gingerly. Uh, you know what to do with it. Or even just ginger. <laughs> ginger you know? or gingerly or... There's lots of ways to use ginger. Gin yeah. All right. You know what to do with it. Cheers. Dolls with Jordy gingerly. See you next week or on the weekend or whenever it is. Mm -hmm. Gingerly. <laughs> yeah, <wait. laughs>